Another large mouth here, just getting all excited. Come here, buddy. Get in here. What have we got here? Well, welcome to another episode of Fishing Southern Maryland. Well, welcome to another episode of Fishing Southern Maryland. I'm your host. Nice and clear here at the launch. Saw some bait fish swimming around. Probably kind of windy out on the main lake. We'll get up in some of these fingers and see if we can catch a fish. All right, welcome back everyone. Or if this is your first time actually seeing one of my videos, stay. If you like what you see, click that subscribe button down at the bottom. I have returned to one of my favorite spots here in Southern Calvert County. It's been two months since I've been here. Been busy trying to fish other places, dealing with other things in the life. But now I've come back down to Southern Calvert County on the lake, do a little freshwater fishing. I want to see if I can get multiple species. I just want to catch some fish today. It's a beautiful Thursday afternoon. I'm going to have some fun. Can't believe that didn't catch a fish. A little closer to shore. There's one. Looks like we got a nice bluegill for the first fish of the day. Yep. Palm sized bluegill. Another one up there? I'd say there was. Didn't even get a chance to flip the bale over hardly. And a bigger one, yeah. Very nice. Three and three cast. Three bluegill. I'm gonna head across the lake, go up into that one cove up that way, or a finger if you want to call it that way, see how I can do up there. A little better fish. Just a bigger bluegill. Feels like another bluegill, just a bigger one. I think that's nine of those. Let me rephrase that. I think that's 10 of those. Oh, there we go. A little large mouth. Yeah. Oh. I see ya. Oh, and he's off. Oh, played around with him too much. I'm trying to get him in the boat. A little nicer large mouth. Got him. Another large mouth hanging out under the dock. A little small one. 
Not as big as that one that I lost back there. Caught on a sexy shad. Okay, what is it that followed it up? Another big bluegill? Yeah, okay. Again, I think that's about a dozen of those. Stay down, whatever you are. Stay down because you feel like a better fish. Uh, looks like it's a largemouth coming up. Yep. This is bass number four because I just caught a small one. Not counting the one that got off the boat or got off at the boat. A little better fish. Bright and sunny in this number three species wise. Yes, we do. We got a nice fat. Look how fat that thing is. Red ear sunfish. Oh yeah. We're gonna put you back. I'm thinking it's not fat. I'm thinking that's eggs. I'm thinking those are eggs. That gives me three species. I saw that fish stuck on that tree. Yeah, I see you, buddy. Yeah, come on. Look how bright those colors are. That's just a pretty fish. So I switch from the baits I've been using recently, those panfish magnets, to just a 1 32nd ounce jig, so just a little bit bigger, but I've put on what is called a sexy shad that's made by Arky. Picked them up at Walmart, got a bunch of them in this little box. This little box I picked up at Walmart. It's not your typical fishing tackle box. I got it from the sewing section. Figure it's not going to get wet. So pay a dollar. A lot less expensive than the actual other boxes. Just a little tip. First cast in this area. I wonder. I gotta be careful with this. I wonder if I got a catfish. I wanna be careful with it, because this is only four pound test. Come up here, buddy. Come up here, buddy. Oh, there's a stick that it's sw was swimming around. Oh, there it is. It's a catfish. That is a catfish. There's species number four. Get you on the other side of the boat. Mm -hmm. We'll take you right here. Nope, 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 nope. Get that off of your gill plate. Yeah, that sexy shad's right there in the corner of his mouth, right where you want it. Yeah, look at you. Nice channel catfish here on the lake. That hook right there in the side of its mouth. Look at that. Now it's out. We need a picture of you, bud. Actually, I want to know how big you are. I know you're too big for my tray. Rounded off tail. 
probably about 20 inches. About a 20 inch catfish. Kind of happy I changed those baits now. Also happy I came over to this side of the lake. That's a good fish. That was a fun one. I'm going to go up here about another 100 yards. Then we'll start fishing on the way back. Another large mouth here, just getting all excited. Come here, buddy. Get in here. Species number five. Now I'm starting to get a little excited here. I'm starting to get a little excited here. If you've been to the channel before, you know that my search for six has been ongoing for probably two or three months now. Well, longer than that, but really the focus on trying to get six different species from one body of water on one trip has really been my focus. Today I've gotten, I don't know, 18, 20 bluegill, one red ear, probably a half dozen, if not more, largemouth. Some of them as big as my hand and others of them a little more healthy I got that channel catfish which was a blessing and then I got that black crappie that's five I know that this lake has yellow perch because I've caught them before I know that there are pumpkin seed in here because I've caught them before now I just gotta get something else to bite there might be pickerel in here. I've just never caught one here. There might be bullhead catfish in here. Again, never caught one in here. Looking for something else. The search for six is going to continue until I get back to the launch. Is this it? No, that's a bluegill. That's something different. I think it was just a large mouth. Just a real tiny one. Mm. Well, we got another nice crappie. Mm, yeah, one that's dressed up for the spawn. Look at everybody. But not a different type of fish. What have we got? I don't know. The way it's swimming is like a bluegill. Right here at the launch. I'm giving myself about another three minutes. Could it be? Could it be? Please let it be. That's a bluegill. It's a nice one, but it's a bluegill. Okay, so like I said at the beginning of the video, it's been two months since I've been to this location. Probably won't be two months before I come back. I'm definitely coming back sometime mid-June. Came here just looking to catch a few fish. 
I know I've said this before on videos, but again, lost count very easily on the number of bluegill and then the number of largemouth that I caught. Catching that catfish, that was pretty nice. You're not going to see the whole video of me reeling it in because I'm going to put that as its own little thing on a, on a fishing Wednesday. It's going to come out for the whole video of me reeling that one in. But that was a good fish. To get a red ear and then a couple crappie to go with it. Again, that's when I started getting a little, getting a little excited. Because I had the opportunity to possibly get six species from the same body of water on the same day. And on the same bait. I know you've heard about fish stories before. You know, the one that got away. But to be completely honest with you, I spent probably about 10 minutes right here at the launch, casting up towards the shore, reeling it back, because I could feel something tugging. And when I got it close enough to the boat and the water's clear enough, I saw that it was a yellow perch. Never hooked him, but it's out there. That sixth species is out there, and I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna do my best. If you stuck with me this long, thank you very much. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications so you can see that catfish video come out. And until next time, tight lines. for their beach umbrella.